Hey everybody, it's Becky Rogers with Families Mentoring Families. Um, I'm super excited. We have been on a trip this week to the Volta region in Ghana and we went out this morning to do a, just to, to visit the community. We met with some people, made some new friends and uh, we ended up at this very cool school. It's a brand new school. It's um, not, uh, it's actually built to educate a lot of kids. There's, I think she said there's only like 70 or 80 right now because it's brand new. But right now I am standing in the library and I want to show it to you. Okay, check this out. This is the space that is designated for their library. And uh, this is uh, the Poor Senior High School, the name of it. And we were talking to the senior um, house mom and she was explaining to, that's her right there. Her name is Linda, super sweet lady. Um, but she was telling us that uh, a lot of the kids that go to school here are kids who have not been to school for four or five years because you know, they've just been working in the community, working on the family farm, whatever. So even though they're senior high school age, a lot of their um, literacy levels and a lot of their um, expectations of education are, uh, are, are, are struggling a bit. And they're working to help them see the value of that education. And I, we were talking about what the kids want to learn and why they do, do or don't like to read. And one of the things that we talked about was that, that one of the reasons is because look at, look in here, they don't have anything to read. And she said they even don't have any of their textbooks that the government is supposed to supply to them for their learning. So we just had a chance to speak to them, spend a few minutes with the kids. Um, and one of the things we talked about was what they could learn if they, uh, could study their heart's desires and we had them give us a list we had to make us a list and it was things about um, fashion design and accounting and politics and economics and um, uh, art and music and there are a whole list and so what we are going to do is uh, we're going to do a book drive for this school specifically with the things that they requested um, and see if we can fill this library um, including a, a, an internet lab, an e-learning room that they have. Uh, it's, let me see if I can turn this way so you can see it. This room right here behind me. They'll put computers in there so people can do research on the internet. And then if you can imagine here just having the tables and the chairs down the center so the kids have a place to come and stay here. We talked to them about the difference it makes to spend even five minutes or an hour extra studying the things that they love to study um, in addition to what they're learning in that school, how that will make the, the, it's the winner's edge, right? It's the difference between um, coming out on top and just being settling for the, the mediocre, um, bare minimum of what you can do with your education. So the uh, kids were excited. They were excited when we told them we would work on getting them the books that they specifically requested. We had requests for books on nursing. Um, oh gosh, there were uh, architecture, like a lot of different things. And so we will uh, be sharing with you more about that. But just wanted to, let you know about this cool place that we just kind of happened on by chance, but not because that's how things roll at Families Mentoring Families. So thank you all, as always for your support of what we do here. And we will be looking forward to bringing you more about this project in the future.